All right, here we go. Pretty. They, I forget just how many games they're a part of. Billions. So many, and all, all of them amazing. Oh yeah. Welcome to Co-op Comedy. My name is Robert Highwin, and this is the Annapurna Interactive Showcase 2021. I'm joined by my trusted, trusted co-op friend, Chris. <laughs> and I freaking love Annapurna Interactive, man. They do such dope stuff. Yeah, big excited for all the weird things we're gonna see. We both just recently played through Last Stop, which was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see what's next. Love that. Oh, this is like a showcase of everything they've done. Yeah. Oh, that gun one was cool. And they, they have such a range in their games, mm -hmm. too. Look at this. Look at it. <laughs> are you are you looking yet? Oh, I'm using my eyes. <laughs> oh, we got some creepy stuff coming. Oh, 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 oh. God, I love Florence. Okay. I didn't. I can never remember the name of that game, but I didn't know they did that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Welcome to Kite. Welcome Hello to Hello, everyone. My name travel. is Kelsey, and mm -hmm. I'd like to welcome you to the very first oh, Annapurna Interactive Showcase. As we enter our sixth year, we want to thank everyone for the Six overwhelming oh, amount wow, of support first. we've received along the way. And because of that, we felt it was time to share what's next directly with you. Today, we'll have about 25 minutes of new game announcements, deeper dives on previously announced games, and short profiles on just a few of the developers we are really excited to be working with. We appreciate everyone watching and want to thank our partners from all over the world for making this possible. Now, let's get this started. Let's go. It just faded out, right? Let's go. Just want to make sure we're on the same page. <laughs> yeah. Game update. The Artful Escape. Melbourne. 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 What vivid oh, colors, Jesus. I know. How is that Vendetti. even possible? Huh. It ain't Beethoven so Rex. Mm -hmm. it's just that, Love I the vibe of this so far. They know who I am. Where I should be going. Hmm. Have you considered becoming someone else entirely? I like this world where everyone wears goggles. Someone else right? Entirely. Wonder why. Mm -hmm. Why has he got Bane's jacket on? Whoa. Okay. Um. <laughs> I've decided to create the most elaborate stage persona. What the, the heck? Okay. How well, high do you have to be to play this game? <laughs> I think the they got high yes. for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Should I smoke weed or do acids? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this, this will give you the experience of both. <laughs> Look, Look at this. this. We're going on what is this? Oh, we're going on a ride, baby. Oh, God. Is this Elton John the game? <laughs> what is happening, Michael Johnston? Okay. I don't know who they are, but I'm glad they're like... Oh, yeah. Lena. Yeah. Wait. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jason Carl Weathers. What? What? It's Apollo. <laughs> it's Apollo Creed. <laughs> He's gonna knock Let's out these go. aliens. <laughs> <laughs> the world heavyweight champion, baby. What is this? Baby, you got a stew. Let's go. Well, that. Oh, baby, we'll have you back in time for breakfast. Okay, that looks insane. I'm I playing this. Yeah. It, did you see that Game Pass? Everything is on Game Pass. Everything in the world. Game Pass, afraid to steal on the internet. Give me this white neon. Neon white. Yeah, you did. I'm Ben Esposito. In 2018, I released Donut County, a wholesome game designed oh for kids God. and adults alike. Love After Donut that, County. I decided that my next game will not be for kids or adults. It'll be a game for freaks. Neon White is a single player speedrunning wow. FPS where you can sacrifice your guns for godlike parkour moves. You play as White, a dead so assassin cool. plucked from hell. As a Neon, My head you, you have 10 days to purge uh, heaven slightly, of a demonic yeah. invasion, <laughs> but right. you're not alone. They just got to play the conversation the fastest Demon Slayer will earn the right to stay in heaven. Oh, you're very ahead of me. <laughs> As you play White's story, you'll have plenty of opportunities to get to know the other Neons. Soul you can use cards. a Soul Card's magic to shoot like a gun, or you can discard it to use its special movement ability. 
when to shoot and when to discard is I, up to you. The, the but if you style want to go fast, you're going to need to discard your cards. Insane. Don't be afraid to use them. You can't take cards with you to the next level. Here's your handgun. Discard it to use Elevate, which lets you double jump to attack from above or create new shortcuts. What an interesting Here's your SMG. Mechanic. Discard it to use Stomp. It's self-explanatory. Super cool. And here we have the shotgun. Discard it to launch yourself like a fireball. I'm not much of a card. Now let's put it like, together. I'll demonstrate a level for game you. Player. Yeah. But this, this looks dope. Yeah. Neon it, white like the cards just represent hand design levels that are meant things, to be replayed, yeah. with new things to do as you gain XP, known as insight. You can share level times with friends, or if you prove yourself, you can compete on the global neon leaderboards. Did they get to gameplay yet for you? Like, gameplay. Title screen. I got a silver. You I'm can see yet. I earned some insight, which unlocks I've a few new features. I've been watching gameplay this whole level. time. <laughs> Me too, oh, but I mean, like, there's a title like that said gameplay. Right. Oh, uh, no? Okay. All right. All right, what's he saying right now <laughs> on your end? Piece of cake. Piece of cake? Nah, I practiced. <laughs> Top yeah, medals practiced. improve your neon rank, which unlocks even more missions. Metals it also earns more rank. insight, which reveals hints for shortcuts and a hidden collectible in every level. He just got a silver. Each one of these gifts is a mini puzzle that requires a clever use of card resources to collect. He said he just got a silver. It's a tattletale toy. Tattletale toy. I know someone toy. who loves these. Let's go find her. What? This is the map of Central I don't know. Heaven. Here you'll get <laughs> missions you now? and events where you can spend time with the other characters. Are you still in the card game? Oh, I see. You're ahead of me now. <laughs> Giving gifts you found in your missions will deepen your relationships, <laughs> which can lead to certain encounters. They just showed Neon Velvet. Yes. Yeah. Cool. She looks wild. It's not a traditional looks, dating sim, but there's lots of juicy content to She looks to like unlock, a mix like between. Like quests, she, she looks like what Harley Quinn would be in uh alice in wonderland mm -hmm. and hidden mm -hmm. memories from your past life which might change how your story is like a first person world. shooter dating game during the 10 wild. days of Hell judgment yeah. you'll find weapons made of human souls <laughs> meet angels in the first flesh, person dating and game. if you become yeah. a number one demon slayer <laughs> they'll give you an ice cream cone number one demon slayer baby neon white is coming to nintendo switch and pc this winter if you're a freak put it on your steam wish list on behalf of the team, you're a freak. thank you. Put it we'll on your you in Steam heaven. wish list. Okay. I am a freak. I'm putting it on there. <laughs> Adding right oh, now. Oh, is it showing where these developers are? Oh, I that's cool. So. That is super cool. Outer loop, huh? Who you? I like the music already. I love Seattle. Let's go. Seattle Library? A little insane. I'm Chandana Ekanayaka. I'm the studio head at Outer Loop Games. Uh, I'm a designer and oh, artist. Oh, We're uh, my background in Bothell, Washington, just uh, north of Seattle, and I uh, run my studio out of my bedroom. So I'd worked with Eka for Hello, several years previously Hello, on Justin. different projects, and he pitched me this oh, bird uh, game. game with a bird, bird in it. We prototyped that and pitched it around, and that turned into Outer Loop. <laughs> I grew up in Sri Lanka, which is a former British colony. Did you see the little fist bump? It's a sci-fi yeah. game set in a, in a distant I'm planet. I'm so but down it's for this. It's based on anti-colonial sentiment. Yeah, Go with a bird. So for this new <laughs> game, it's an idea I've had for a couple of years. While we were making Falcon Age, um, I didn't know what exactly what the game was going to be, but I knew thematically what we wanted to try to do. And I have a writing partner, Meg, who is in Bangalore. It took us a couple of years to kind of figure out the core idea for the story and the I love theme. love this and backstory kind of here. The this team is dope. See how they like it. Mm -hmm. it. Deals closer to some of the themes I wanted to try to tackle next which is immigrant culture growing up in the u.s mm -hmm. gossiping aunties and overbearing parents and family pressure really the game comes together with the with the, the whole crew of 15 and bringing their own specialty myself and eka we knew each other back in california on my first job yeah, actually we... and then eventually ended up starting out of the... i love this team every game I yeah make one of them one of them's like i don't have a crazy style like you guys yeah. in. <laughs> skateboarding we're gonna go skating i'd be that guy on the right i'm like i can't pull off that right i'm just gonna come and pull my plan off yeah accessible and easy so i've been I am not that cool. for about 24 nope, i can't years. do that and I'm i also cannot skateboard the so type of games <laughs> is a break here. from reality of what actual skateboarding is and hmm? more of like the things i actually that want one to building do, that had trees growing out of it i want to explore that because i'm trying yeah, to make right? it as accessible to as many people as possible let me in 
Look at it, Uncle. Good job. In my 20 plus years, it's game. been the most fun <laughs> Immediately. team I've ever worked on. Put it where I won't steam we wish this thing. <laughs> we feel like as, as a game will stand out. Our process has been wait, what even it? Find a unique Hold theme on. that's not out there. Oh, this is just about the Falcon Age this whole time. Oh, yeah. I wait, think so. I thought it, oh, we okay. Falcon Age and that's what we're doing with Oh, I guess they like really expanded on it? Because I thought Falcon Age was out. I thought there was already the bird game out. Look, Robert, I don't know. Bird game. If you were a bird, what kind of bird would you be? Leave it down below in the comments. Let's have a bird talk. Cloistus. I was like, that's not a bird. Cloistus. I don't know what this is, but sign me up. This looks emotional and wild. I'm going to cry right now. I'm going to cry for these fucking jellyfish. Lady, you're drowning. You got to get out of there. Oh my god, it's like a dream. You know when you walk like, you like sludge? Yeah, yeah. I hate that. Sometimes I walk so slow that I start swimming. <laughs> it's fast. I, yeah, I'm like just trying. This looks beautiful. What is this? I can't play this because I don't like to <laughs> tap into my emotions. <laughs> I don't either, but that's exactly what I like to do on stream. Let's go. <laughs> I'll do a hard pass on this. I'm going to cry immediately. <laughs> This game is just called cute as fuck. <laughs> a memoir blue. I'm crying right now inside. Jesus. Okay. No, like, depths of memory? No, thank you. <laughs> There's a game reason they're great. in the depths. <laughs> game looks great. I wish you all success. I can't play this. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's from a small little place. Tiny Chung City. Very cool. World. Jessica Mack. Is that a person or a whole company? Partnership. Um, it might be a company. Hi, my name is Jessica Mack. Company. I'm a solo game dev from Toronto, Canada. Oh, no, it's just one person. This is my cat. <laughs> what up, cat? <laughs> What's up, my cat? My parents, they started a computer store. This is like in the early 80s. That's kind of cool. And back then, it most is. people didn't have computers in their homes. But we did. And I guess as a side effect of that, I was also mechanical interested in keyboard how computers were. checks out. I would always tinker with them, <laughs> and I met a friend who gave me my first compiler. It, it just seemed like magic. Like, how did you even make it? Not even a video game, but like a program. I started off working alone because there was nobody else. My first game was solo, and then the second game I collaborated with a musician. Wow, and then I it's took pretty. some time to like yeah. actually sit like down drawn. and write songs and produce them properly. The music oh, you in this all game write I just feel music more confident about. Jesus, okay. The analogy I think of is, I say you're writing this song, and you're like, we need someone to go off on the guitar at this point, guitar solo time. You can't tell someone how to do that. You just have to have the instrument in your hand, and you have to feel it, and you have to be like one with it, and let it rip. Hell yeah. It's the same way with video let games. The computer is my instrument. The compiler is my instrument. That's cool. I find I work strongest mm -hmm. when I work in here, when it's just subconscious. You're just flowing in it, and you're making 100 decisions a second. And then by the time you come out of it, it's like it almost feels like you're waking up. Whoa. With music, wow, 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 you can wow. write a song that's 3 minutes and 30 seconds, and so much happens in it. Every eight bars, it's like it's something new, something new, something new. That's sort of the density that I want to put what in this game. this game? Jesus. Whoa. Trippy. Music that can move you on such a this visceral is level super is cool. super interesting to me. And so all my games are music focused. The I music love that. for me is very much as important as the game part of it itself. This time with this game, it is an adventure game, but it's action. But there's like this musical component to it. When people play it, they won't know what to expect. I want to make an engaging experience. I literally I don't know what to experience. expect. I don't even understand what I just saw, <laughs> but I definitely want to see it again. I felt it in my ears. All right, where are we moving now? Buenos Aires. Just all over the world. This is cool. You oh, see Annapurna. The... I know them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Daniel. Hello, storyteller. I feel like I may, might be a little ahead of you. I'm not uh, sure. You were given Story settings. of tragedy. You were given settings. Oh, you're a little ahead. A tiny uh. bit. <laughs> uh, you're winning now, Romo. <laughs> no 
tell now their I get story. to tell their story. What? What did Albert do? Do you make Albert comics? He's alone now. He's alone. <laughs> what? What? Must be a tragedy. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Okay. What the f? What? This is, is super interesting. Oh. As long as the as title, long as the title fits. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, it's kind of changing. Oh. He killed him now. Oh, this is so cool. What? Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, he faked. He faked the dragon and saved her. Okay. Yeah, wow, yeah, that's yeah. kind of interesting. That is such an interesting mechanic. I don't know that I've seen anything like that in a game before. No, I th the, clo the closest thing that comes to my mind is um, scribble knots, where you can like write any word mm -hmm. and like the mm -hmm. item appears, and you kind of have to solve puzzles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But huh. oh, that's, oh, that's that was interesting. Solar ash. You said that it sounded like a Johnny Cash song. <laughs> well, I'll tell you about that solar ash. <laughs> this game looks fast paced and dope. What the heck is that spider thing? No, not good. <laughs> Some would say very bad. I feel like this is a game I'd watch someone. I don't know if I would play it, but because I just want to see the world. But I don't know if the gameplay is what I'd like. It, it looks, looks like it's going to be really crazy movement. Yeah. But this, this art style oh. is really cool. Yeah. The story's it's... probably going to be really cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. Not on Steam. Excuse? <laughs> Just please. Epic, Epic Games oh, got the yeah, exclusive. Okay. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm a little ahead of you now. You are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. I went. No, oh, uh, I'm speeding. What's the one with the, um, where you have to guess who the, the little cartoon people are? Stratego. <laughs> Is that it? No. <laughs> no. Well, hi there. He just said, "Well, hi there." For me. Hello. My name is Davy Reed. And I was the creator right of right Stanley saying. Parable and Earth. the Beginner's Guide. Stanley I'm Parable. Manja. I was co-creator. I love the Stanley Parable. And Tacoma. And we uh, started a studio. It's true. It's called Ivy That's Road. crazy. We're working together. We're making a video game. We're working with Annapurna to make Those are both totally very story-based game games. Yet. We yeah. are very, very lucky to get to be joined by our good friend Daniel Rosenfeld, a.k.a. C418, the musician from Minecraft. And speaking of, Daniel wow. is actually composing the music mm. that you're hearing right now at this very moment. Let's go to him. Hey, the, oh, hey, no, 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 sorry, I didn't, no, 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 I didn't want to, you're good, you're good, I just, I'm just, for the people, just saying, you know, hey, so, can we give him a treat? No, 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 don't, don't feed him. That's all right, we'll leave him alone. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Mm, I love that. Ow. That was fantastic. <laughs> Who this I like that you didn't have to say anything, you're just like, what, what, are, what are you doing? We're super excited about Ivy Road, and uh, the work. other thing that we are working on together that this we can't talk has about, a lot of uh, all we can really talk about is each other right now, and That's so true. I That's wrote a couple questions to ask you to kind of get to know you a little bit better to find out more okay. for, for the people at home. Uh, and about sort of studio culture <laughs> yeah. and what that's yeah, like. So question number one, if you really are a true gamer, name 10,000 games. <laughs> oh man. Well, I mean, honestly, there's like uh, Final Fantasy 1 through 10,000. <laughs> oh, actually, that's, I didn't expect her to get Final that right. Fantasy 1 through 1,000. The bus leaves Atlanta at 1.30 a.m. <laughs> okay. Traveling west at 55 miles an hour. I feel like this would be us if we wow. did anything. <laughs> yep, dumb 100%. stuff. You want to leave Atlanta? I'm in. Uh, last question for you here. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to leave Atlanta? Why do kids love the taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch? You know, I understand the child psychologists have been debating <laughs> this for like... Decades, you know, there's two schools of thought. On this well, that's all the they're just shoving more today. tea Thank with the paper and everything. What is this discussion of the uh studio <laughs> values of tea? Ivy Road and the things that we care about? Let's cut to Daniel. Let's cut to Daniel. Ew. 
Stop cutting the Daniel. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Thank G -G. Go. <laughs> this is great. What a great way to break up, like, seeing a bunch of, uh... Yeah. Games with, like, a little goof. I like that. And they said they couldn't talk about the game, so, like, here, let's just show off our personality and... Yeah. And, you know. So good. So, you <laughs> decided to be an insurance commando. Pirates are kidnapping cats from our Insurance ships. commando, huh? Luckily, the cats bought our deluxe insurance package. Excuse me? You. Your mission? Eradicate the pirates by any means necessary. That's insurance? Look at the mech cannon. It's huge. <laughs> no bullets, no problem. What the hell is this? I love this music, though. I what? know, right? Ah! Uh. Oh! Concussion? Protocol what? 832. Being smelly and what to do about it. You are smelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Third what? lung? You're making smell I'm flies. so confused. I don't know what's happening. You're so dirty. A space pirate smelled you. Are you luring him with how bad you smell? Is that what's Wash going on? Whole body. What? So it's like you can yeah. just use your smell as a weapon. So silly. I want the soundtrack. Yeah, hundred percent. Wish list now on Steam or BlendoGames.com. That was good. Yeah. And was remember, that what? if you screw up, it's not the end. What? How do you? Okay. It makes the sound of a motorcycle revving. <laughs> Please keep making more motorcycle noises. <laughs> oh, the Pathless. That's what it's called. It's called. It's called. It's called. This better not be a linear story. game, I tell you what. I'm pretty sure this one was already out on PS5, I think, and now it's coming to Steam. Is that what it is? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw it's our boy Adri playing this. Hmm. Oh, what room? Okay, I heard a lot of good things about this. Yeah. I own it, just never played it. Oh, it's coming to Apple now. Okay, okay. I have Apple, so that's good for me. I have banana. <laughs> I have orange. <laughs> Leave a down below comment what fruit you have. <laughs> Welcome to I Am Dead. Excuse? Don't stop. <laughs> and that was I Am Dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Oh, Telling Lies. See, I know this. I don't know this. Was this one the of Game those, Pass. Uh, okay. How do you do it? Yeah. It's like um, you watch a bunch of videos and try to piece together what's going on. It's pretty crazy. It's wild. Game Pass. Game Pass is everywhere and it's crazy. Oh, whoa. That's a cool oh. little puzzle mechanic. Wow. All right. I think that game's been out for a while. I think I own it from like a humble bundle or something. Let me I never have played it. it. Let me. <laughs> it's all yours, bud. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, Stray. Here we go, baby. Hello everyone, my name is Swan, producer at Blue 12 Studio, and today I'm going Hello? to show you more about Stray. Hello. Yes, Did we you lose show your more cat? About Stray. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Blue 12. Blue 12! Blue 42! In Stray, you play as huh? a cat who is cat. found inside the mysterious and forgotten city. Separated from his family and injured, he will have to explore and survive oh, in this injured. welcoming environment. Oh, no. We gotta help that cat. Okay, is this the graphics? Because good lord. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because I believe it's coming to, like, PS5 and next gen. So, yeah, I think this, like, is the game. From the cat's unique point of view, 
Players Sweet must Mamma Jamma. Their way through the dangers yeah. of this and and this is them and live streaming, like, you know, pre-release yeah. footage, so... I am smart cat, I solve puzzle. I have little bucket, because I am little cat. Throw the oh. bucket. Oh. This is really cool. I wonder, is it, like... Is this, like, a horror game? I don't think so. I think you are, you're just trying to survive as this cat, but I don't think there's necessarily... Nothing that I've seen makes me think there's going to be, like, a horror element. And until that thing... <laughs> I might be wrong. Along this journey, the cat will meet a small drone named B12. <laughs> Bop. B12, that's their studio. <laughs> They're like, the we put ourselves in to interact We're here. with objects in the world and communicate with oh. the strange inhabitants of Whoa. this secluded place. <laughs> What's Together, up, I'm a cat. This is my robot. <laughs> oh, I'm Teddy. <laughs> of human -like machines. This is the game cat lovers have been waiting for. I want to see the cat actor that was in a mocap suit for this. <laughs> <laughs> a mocat suit? Mocat suit, I love it. Patent pending, everybody. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, you freaking out? I don't know if there's any actual, like, people. I think it's all robots from everything I've seen. The robots killed the people and they realized the cat will can't do anything cat. without people. And his oh! adventures will be filled with friendly and playful <laughs> interactions with his new world. Scritch, scritch. See, look, there's a picture of an old woman. So, like, they know what humans are. They know that there were humans here at one point. These machines are not the only inhabitants of the city. Oh. And some encounters will not be as oh, friendly shit. as Oh, oh shit, it's a horror game. What? Excuse me. He's like, I wouldn't go in there, but if you're trying to go oh. in there, running, oh, ew, ew, oh, what are, what the hell? Ew, the city. Oh. they're like, they're like nice robot naked chickens. <laughs> oh no! What oh, the get hell off are those things. Get what off the cat. The <laughs> oh, we yeah, surfing now, on. baby. Maybe Squish. these things killed the humans. Maybe. Ew! Get off the cat. What are those? those weird little horror rats. They're like, they're like, they're like mechanical fat ticks. <laughs> You, you ever watch Doctor Who? No. There, and I never will now. <laughs> whole thing. All right, look. If you know Doctor Who out there, those are evil adipose. You'll know. You'll know what I mean. Definitely adipose. Unless you find a way to defend yourself. And the prey 100 adipose the I, I've ever I was seen. about to say that. <laughs> like, I was on the tip of my tongue. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, Jesus. Watch out for this cat. Good Lord. I see. God damn. Stray is coming to PS4, PS5, as well as PC in early 2022. Okay. And we can't wait to show you more. But is oh, it coming man. to Steam or Epic Games? Oh, no. Now I'm a robot in a city and I've never been well. Mm -hmm. Got a cat here, but I couldn't tell what it's trying to tell me. <laughs> and I'll Steam, tell you baby. what. <laughs> Steam, baby. Oh, man. I'm excited for that. I'm Hell excited to make yes. a song. Hell yeah. Yeah, that looks cool. I wasn't sold, but now I'm sold. Be Another sold. new partnership. Is it every game technically a partnership? I guess. I mean, it's funny. Well, actually, yes. these could be developed slash published, whereas the other ones could be just published. Mm. Game dev, and for every game we've made, we've never set retro a tech. Game. I we've mean, to make thrillers or atmospheric sci-fi. Love retro tech. That noise? We release it, and everyone's like, "That was terrifying." We're like, "Was it?" Are you in, Robert? Are you in for a scary game? No. <laughs> we've no. pretty much no. known each other since the third year of primary school. I'd be around at John and Graham's house, so they'd be around at mine. You kind of think back and you go, old oh yeah, friends. I'm a really big horror fan, and then you think, actually, that's all we watched. I think maybe Graham or Omar got the alien. He's going to shoot him. So just every <laughs> Thursday for about a year after school. I have a photo like this with my one of my old friends, too. <laughs> we were on the computer, together. but the parents were like, turn around, and we turned around. <laughs> drive and they took a picture. A project between us all, and so this in many ways feels very natural. I always knew if, if I was going to start something, I'd probably do it with Omar or Graham 
um, or both. Making games as a job, I wouldn't have believed my older self would be doing this. I don't want to make games because I projects can't. That we've on so uh, <laughs> but I do want to work no in like and a it's game not I'm working here, but they office. Are you know what I mean? Like a game related by far, office. And I've always... Sort of Fuck comedy of office coming 2025. Let's go. Ship, it would be to join them. Help us get this. Like, comment, and subscribe. To see where we could go, both as a company, but I think what we could do for the city of Glasgow as well. So we're working on a, a, a new project. So, you know, the, the, this project's kind of like our biggest project to date, and obviously we've we've scaled the team up. We've doubled in size. It's something wow. that I didn't think we'd really get a chance to work on. You know, like something we'd be able to do in our career. It's one of these opportunities that come up, and you just kind of you have to move along with it. You know, we're taking what we do and what we love and trying to push it to the next stage with a bigger budget and a little bit more time. We've never really set out to make a horror game but we've kind of ended up in that. Whereas this game, we are setting out to make a horror game. I don't think anyone's oh. expecting what we're going to do next, um, which makes it even more exciting. Mm. What's well, interesting, No Code's previous game, the observation, the one they showed off, was uh, published by Devolver Digital. Love Looks Devolver. like Annapurna liked what they saw, scooped them up for the next project. Ooh, Outer Wilds, okay. Kind this of game's already they... out, right? Hey folks, yeah. Alex from Mobius here. Hi. Just wanted to give you a brief update on what we've been up to behind the Veil of Shadows. First off, Mobius and Unity have partnered together <laughs> and are working hard to bring Outer Wilds to the Nintendo Switch. Ooh. We look forward to having oh. it in your hands this holiday season. We are also very excited to officially announce that we're making Those an all expansion for Outer Wilds, it. and it's going to weave directly into the existing world and narrative. Have now, you played this yet? The game, you no, but I so badly want to. How? And also why? And those are very good questions. And cut. <laughs> okay, without further ado, we hope you enjoy this willfully cryptic trailer for Outer Wilds' first <laughs> and only expansion. I love me a mystery game. I want to play this game. It's a big Cheeto Puff. <laughs> not a big fan of the Cheeto Puff, tell you what. I'm not really. Uh, well, it depends. Not the Cheeto Balls. The Cheeto yeah. Puffs, like the full Cheetos. I'll go down I, I just too, too, too not crunchy enough, you know? I feel that. I feel that. Our moon will block out the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Always got a reference to Xerxes somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> My moon will block out the sun. He's so rich. He has a moon. <laughs> that he can move freely. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's in a pulley system. Uh, there's more to explore here. Oh. Mobius. Thank you so much for watching our first showcase. We hope you enjoyed the nice. sneak peek into the world of Annapurna Interactive. Until next time. Do you think they're going to do one more thing? Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. They, they've got, Cheers. they just do such cool oh. stuff, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very, very, like, pushing the boundaries of video games, I think. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Not afraid to invest a lot of money into everything. random stuff. Yeah. Very cool. Well, this is dope. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate you. Thank you. Hit you the comments. Uh, hit the subscribe. Uh, comment what you want to see. Like, what, what, from from yeah. all of what you just saw, what's your favorite thing? What are you most your excited favorite. about? Tell hit us that below. subscribe button to know when we go live with actual co-op games where we play. And uh, until then, I love you. Bye. Stay beautiful.